And then finally, we have the data layer. We talked before about relational databases, and finally we're to a place where relational databases are really used, because the transactions, believe it or not, aren't of the volume and aren't of the speed that require them to go outside of a relational database. So we'll talk a lot about, not the actual, because I couldn't ever find the actual relational database structure of World of Warcraft, but I can get pretty close, and I can show you more or less what they must be doing in one way or another. So that data tier consists of a relational database running on lots and lots of servers that contain your data. What's your character, what's your name, all the all stuff about your account, what's your current level, what's in your inventory, all the stuff you can think about when you turn off your computer and you go away from this game, you come back and it puts you right back exactly where you were in the status that you had, at the level that you had with all the gear that you've collected, you know, all the items you've collected, all that kind of stuff, all your current abilities, etc., etc., etc. Where is that stored? Where is that persistently stored? It's kept on your hard drive for convenience, but it's persistently stored on the, in the database, in the data tier of the MMO, of the mult massively multiplayer um, role-playing game, in this case, World of Warcraft. Okay, so, typical tier model, and nothing hard about that. We have the presentation tier, fat client. We have the processing tier, which has the login servers and the world servers. And we have the data tier that's running a very large and, 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 um, and robust relational database that takes care of not only storing your information, but it also has the information model, right? The, the kinds of information that we store, the types of information that we store, the attributes of those information, the value patterns of that information, et cetera, et cetera, is all there in that database, in that data store. So it's the information model and the organization of the information, all the user data, all the stuff that you stored, as well as all the game data. There's all sorts of things that need to be known. We'll see a lot of them in particular later, but you can imagine that there's lots of data, like what are the names of all of the places? Right? All, that's, all that's data that has to be stored somewhere, and it's all stored in the data layer. What are the descriptions of all the different um, attacks that you can make? What are the different abilities? What are the different parameters of all the different abilities? All that stuff has to be stored. That's a huge model of game information that we'll talk about later, but it all has to be stored, and it gets stored in that data layer. Okay, so you got the idea? Typical three-tier architecture, presentation layer.